Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on evaluating a limit. Now, if you notice, limit for this one is really an infinity over infinity case. So yes, you can use L'Hopital's rule, but it's a little more complicated in that you have to take derivative almost three times. So let me show you a quicker way. What we can do, this is what I learned back in graduate school, the first time I saw it, I said, no way, you can't do that. It turned out it's one of the smartest things the teacher showed me. So what you do is you divide top and bottom by n to the cube. The first term become 1, second term here become 4 minus 5 to the n to the cube. Okay, from here, I, I hope you can see where I'm going with it. n goes to infinity, this term goes to 0, and you have a very easy 1 over 4 left. Now, if you insist on doing L'Hopital's, which sometimes actually that's what, what I insist on having my teacher show me, you can do that one too. Taking the derivative top, you have 3n squared minus 12n squared. If you want to cancel the square, maybe you can see it. But let's see, first time I did it, I didn't see it. I said 6n divided by 24n, and then 6 over 24. You know what? The answer is still equal to one-fourth. So either way, it still gets the same answer. Hopefully you were not, or you are not, as stubborn as I am. Now I got a really pretty card in the notes today, in the mail. Look at that, it's pretty. It's a handmade flower petal. Brightens my day. Well, hopefully you have someone in your life send you a nice surprise like that too. Anyway, back to math. So either way, you can divide it by n, the highest power term, or you can use L'Hopital's rule. In the end, you would get the same answer. All right, that's how we handle this problem. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.